guys. All right, so I want to show you. This is the house when we bought it. You can see it. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad. Like, it had not, it was owned by a 90 year old man. This is actually, I think, the day that, February 14th, the day that we were moving in, but it ended up not closing until February 28th. We had moved in then. This is just so dirty. That was the refrigerator, that was the dining room. Um, this was one of the bathrooms. Um, then we had to have the whole roof taken off and new roof because it was leaking everywhere. The skylights had to be popped off. The living room just so dark and dingy. And I, you know, we just went in and start cleaning. And uh, I, pretty early on, I started taping everything off and I just like got a sprayer and you'll see real soon here. And I just started spraying the whole place white. Um, there, the floor was falling in, <laughs> you can see. And it was during COVID, like COVID hit right after that. That's behind the refrigerator. Um, yeah, where is that at? Oh, that was in the, the entry room and that's in one of the bedrooms. That was the entry room, little, that was, there's only two bedrooms. We made it a third. There's another bathroom. Um, it was in really rough, rough, rough shape. It actually looks better in these pictures than it did in real, real life. You could see, oh, there were so many things we did. Like if you look at the, if you watch this and go back and rewatch the other one, how we did it, it's pretty amazing. I like it. I like the way it turned out. So we've, we've really, um, there it is. That one picture was white. Here we go again. Some things may be repeated. That was the, a headboard. It was a queen size headboard. Ooh, that's the tracks of the slider. There I'm painting it white. That back, everything goes so fast. On the back thing, I wanted to say, um, that headboard thing, I cut that down and we made it a queen size headboard. I got it for free. We still use it to this day. We built a wall there and put a barn door on it because we needed a third bedroom for because our, our daughter and grandchildren were moving in with us. There again, it's another part of the floor that was falling in. Sorry, guys, I just kind of threw this all in here because, hey, <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, that was under the stove. <laughs> My granddaughter, she was always doing cartwheels. There's that headboard that I cut down. We cut it down. Here's a table that we got. Everything we got, we got either for free or really, really low low price. And I just, um, Bob and I DIY'd. A lot of these rooms change. So here you see, see it. But the final finish, this was like phase one. The final, final finish is like the very beginning of this video. We ended up taking that sliding door off and putting it outside of one of the, um, the sliding barn door. We put it outside one of the, uh, sliding doors so our dog wouldn't bark all the time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the master bedroom again. It looks so different, all of it, because this was just the first phase. Um, I think we did it like in three phases to where it is now. Um, yeah, because also when we started it, I was in ministry school. So, and I went three years of ministry school. It was pretty crazy. Um, let's see. I wish, I wish I would, would take time to go back and put them side by side. That's the bathroom floors. I primed them all <laughs> and then painted, um, like the laundry room and another one. That one I ended up putting, um, the vinyl, luxury vinyl. I don't, I didn't like that one though. What is this? I don't know. Oh, this is just showing the bath tub and shower. It was so gross. Oh, um, yeah, that was the bottom of the bathtub. And then I did the moisture barrier everywhere. I just wanted to make sure it was all good. That was the vinyl planking, but it was harder to put down. We ended up putting up, um, some in another room and it was great. Oh, there I put, I did, uh, the tiles. I did tiles by myself in the kitchen some things I had never done before, and I just experimented and did it, and it was fun. We tore some stuff out there. There, that's not water. That was like a. Uh, they started to put a barrier down, and I don't know what happened. All right, let's see. We tore the white carpeting out because it was white carpeting. It was really gross. 
Um, here. I don't know what we're doing here. I think we're getting ready to lay down flooring. Or is that still tearing carpet out? Sorry. Um, that ends up being a coffee station. Oh, there. I did that by myself. I'd never done that before. It was fun. That's a bear way in the background. Right there. Big old bear. It was fun. I redid all these chairs. They turned out really good. And it was a fun project. I got all four chairs for, I think, 15 or 20 bucks. And I made two with burlap and two to match the dining room table as captain's chairs. There's the burlap. They're now in the mudroom. Oh, and then I had fun. I started finding all these bases. And that's when, when that um, whole thing with um, baking soda was a, a thing. Here we are tearing out. The, the, he had this weird little ledge thing. We tore that out. I put new toilets in both bathrooms. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. You can see I put the toilets in. It's another one of those baking soda paint texture things. And I, I just had fun doing that. I like, I like to be busy and do things. I did those. I thought those were super cute. Um, I don't know what that is. It's basically repeats of the same, same things. There I just put a rug down until we, we don't even have flooring. It's just literally the subfloor now, but the subfloor was better than the white, ugly, gross carpet. <laughs> and then I painted all that. I'll, I'll, there will be a video of where I painted it. Um, I think, oh yay, where Bob and I start putting down that luxury um, flooring and we did it ourselves. We hired somebody at first and they were horrible. So we had to fire them and then we did the whole house ourselves. And I mean, it was a pretty amazing thing that we were able to do that. Uh, and we finally, by the end of it all, even got the floorboards on baseboards. Yeah. Live and learn. I gotta tell you, you can do anything, anything with, um, YouTube, and that's what we did. We just used YouTube to figure it out. And this flooring I love because it's cool and warm tones. So to me, that was just amazing. A lot of this furniture ended up gone or it's so it's just funny for me to look back at it and see how it looks um, in these when it was just so basic at the beginning stages where, you know, a lot of things we just used what we had and or what we got really cheap and made it a home until it was finally finally done right where it looked good I mean it still has things to do like I think the new owners will come in and change the windows and the sliders and redo the bathrooms which is stuff I really, I mean, like, really redo the bathrooms, like, tear the toilet, the bathtubs up. That's where I painted the floors. That's the laundry room. That was the upper cabinet at my neighbor's, and we put it here. And if you go back to the um, beginning, you'll see where it's on the wall. It's beautiful. 